seven minutes of wonderment I just showed you some paint there all this is is a paint up of that uh, tape monster that I made during our chat I figured I'd finish showing you that the first paint was cool blue and what I did was go around on those gemstones that I made out of breaking up pieces of plastic and to make the shards the ice shards and the teeth and the spiky crap hang out the back so all it is is a whole lot of me painting up that shit with a dry brush of first off cool blue and then we lightened it up after that with uh, a blue cotton both of those are the apple barrel cheap ass freaking paints I'm sure we'll get there eventually and then eventually we did some metallic blue sapphire folk art the whole expensive version of the cheap ass paints so there's a whole lot of me, this brush action, brush action, brush action, nobody gives two rats ass, but there it is. Did some, not a lot of gemstone touching, a lot of gemstone painting up. Anybody can make a paint, a, a tape monster, that's all this was here. I'm always making crap out of tape, we know everything else. That plastic stuff is pretty cool. To actually make that, I got a, uh, one of those from a Dollar Tree, the plastic like champagne flutes. And put it in a towel and beat the living hell out of it and broke it up and then snapped it. And that's how I made my shards. I'm not remember. I don't remember if I went over that or not. That's how I made all those cool spiky shards and stuff all over there. And then I also, you can buy those tea lights that come. They're the white tea lights from Dollar Tree that come in a little. They got a, come in a little plastic packet. One tea light and like eight or ten little acrylic gemstones like crystals. Well, those crystals break up really good when you wrap them in a towel take them out put them on concrete and beat the hell out of them with some uh, I believe I used 15 pound dumbbell to beat the shit out of it and instead of getting the workout of course that's what I did so but that's how I made these other gems and that I got a whole lot of gems since I couldn't even use them all over this stupid tape monster and they just got hot glued to this bad boy oh finally Finally, I'm long winded up and we're finally lighting up with that blue cotton. Blue cotton. Why blue cotton? I'm not sure. Maybe for cotton candy? Because that's the only thing else. I don't know what blue cotton is, but it's a creepy ass. I almost said flavor, but creepy, creepy, creepy ass color. Flavor. Mm. Well, you know, licking paint water and drinking paint water and licking your brush clean, I guess it does, but they all kind of taste the same, unless it's metallic. And now I'm doing the eyes, and uh, to be honest, it took, uh, I don't know, five or six times doing the eyes, because then I went back and just touch up with some white, like I'm getting ready to do now, white, there it is, white, white, just blank old white, app barrel white, isn't it awesome, there it is, I need that, because I got to get around where I got sloppy with the blue, and then I slop white on the blue, and then I can go back to the blue, and it's a, it's a whole process back and forth and uh, they came out okay they don't look great I mean if I had to do this again I would make the eyes uh, not out of beans like I did last time and, but or was it lentils lentils well what else? some sort of legume um, yeah I think it was lentils but I would not use that I would use the broken up crystals would probably look cooler and I could put some white or something in the in the head to make it glow and now I'm hitting the white to lighten up that blue a little more on these uh, crystals. Uh, after all that, the whole damn thing got a, a serious coat of that uh, of a uh, gloss varnish, spray gloss varnish. And I used the can that we bought by mistake, that is far too thick for uh, miniatures. That kind of makes them look like they're covered in glass. So it worked great for this though to keep all that friggin'. Uh, Baking soda, white paint, and white school glue combo that smacked all over this thing. Now, you will find if you don't seal it, like I sealed it once, painted it, and sealed it again. Because that is not the sturdiest stuff when it's on a base of 
masking tape and paper wadded up. It's pretty good and hard now. Like you can paint it up and I uh, had a couple of uh, the spikes out the back that were barely in it uh, come a little loose when I had to do this so I had to give them uh, another re-glue shot. But uh, all hot glue, masking tape and paper and like I said, a uh, handful of those little acrylic gems and two lentils and a part of a Dollar Tree champagne flute. Need all that, beat the shit out of the weight in a towel. Now, don't put in a towel you like because uh, those little acrylic gems tear the shit out of the towel when you beat the hell out of them on concrete. Why? Not sure, but they're tough. All right, so I've rambled on. For nearly six minutes, which is this whole video, and there I am going back and touching up, getting deep in there, and get, making those eyes, make it look as scary as possible for my giant thing. This thing's awesome. There was another look. And we're going to do some pics here in a minute that I took of him. He looks pretty good. He can come out too cheesy, but he uh, looks fun on the table. Can't wait to uh, pandemic being over so we can uh, get together and use him maybe. I'm sure the guys aren't looking forward to being eaten by a giant abominable tape monster, but uh, that's what it is. So uh, check out some pics here, and uh, I'm almost there. I keep saying check out the pics, but I'm watching my thing creep down. It's about ready to go, and I'm so proud of myself. I keep showing the camera. The thumbs up. Oh, there he is. Roar! Tape monster! That's so cold and icy. Tape monster! Tate Monster, Tate Monster, Tate Monster's a craft or die.